take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. Chelsea versus Roma. What a game that was. Free all. Uh, really entertaining to watch. If you're a person who's quite a stickler for defensive duties, then probably not the game for you. But uh, yeah, it was a really, really entertaining game. Um, happy we got a point from it in the end as well. Obviously, it ended free all. So one of the main po uh, talking points uh, for me was obviously Morata's back. He looked quite fit. He looked sharp. Um, he's so important to how we play. So, so important. With all the criticism Bacharai got as well. It was just really good we we had him back. And I really felt like he made a difference as well. What with all our injury problems, especially with Kante being out, Louise obviously started in midfield. Now he obviously scored a really good goal, very, very good goal. The way he took it was just incredible, but we've seen Louise do that before, so it wasn't too much of a surprise. I thought he looked really energetic and I'm not sure when he picked up this injury, uh, but obviously that would have affected his performance. But he actually committed more fouls than anyone on the pitch. So I don't know if his injury had anything to do with that, or if maybe he obviously hasn't played in midfield for a while, so he, he was just a bit over-eager. But obviously that's not great, because in the times that Roma were being pressured, he gave them an easy way out by fouling them. So I thought he had quite a, a sort of a mixed game, but I wouldn't mind seeing him there again especially with the way our injuries are going, uh, hopefully he's not out too long. So we won the up in the Champions League against Roma at home, everything's going great, and then uh, Hazard goes and scores, um, I think it's his first goal in the Champions League for like 926 days or something, I think the last one he scored was against PSG in 2015, so a long time coming, but yeah, really well took goal, I think it was a Morata, um, I think he was crossing it, it was uh, deflected and then Hazard just, just uh, scored it really well, so yeah, really pleased with that, 2-0, uh, everything was looking great. Then in the second half, uh, Roma obviously started attacking, they were just running through our midfield, and again, in hindsight, it could have been because of Bakayoko and Luis's injuries, again, I don't know when they picked them up, but the defence were just getting battered. Kolarov's goal, so uh, it was a really good run by Kolarov. He, it was, he cut inside way too easily though. I think he went between two of our players and then he shot. Uh, it deflected off Christensen. So really unlucky because nine times out of ten that goes over the goal or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really unlucky for Christensen. And uh, yeah, it went in and so it's, so it's 2-1. And then Edin Dzeko popped up with what is probably going to be goal of the Champions League this season. It was a really great ball by, uh, I think it was Fazio. Uh, I think he's played for Spurs. But yeah, really great ball. But Dzeko, how he took that was unbelievable. It reminded me of some of the goals Van Persie used to score. The technique was wonderful. I think it was Frank Lampard, he said, you can practice like 50 of those in training only one of them will actually come off like Dzeko's did so he'll probably never score another goal like that in the rest of his career but Courtois didn't even have a chance I mean it actually came central at Courtois as well and Courtois reflexes are, are unbelievable I was actually saying to my mate who doesn't really watch football I was just like look how hard he's hit that like it's it's only gone just above Courtois um his head and and he's and he's literally just but all we had to do was do that to save it. And uh, yeah, it's unbelievable power generated from it. But yeah, what a fucking goal. If we're going to concede a goal like that, I mean, is what it is, isn't it, really? But yeah, giving away a two goal lead at home is, against anyone really is, is, is just not good enough, especially with an Italian manager. And then Dzeko scored again. And yeah, we're 3 2 down. I was, when we were 2 0 up, I was just like, oh, everyone's going to forget about Palace now. We've just won two big Champions League games in a row. And then. Yeah, giving away a two-goal lead. It's just I can't, I can't help thinking about the 15-16 season. I'm so scarred by it. I'm sure everyone else is as well. But yeah, it really wasn't looking very good, was it? And Roma all over us as well. And then Eden Hazard pops up with a header. He was pointing to his head as well when he was celebrating. So I think that must be one of it. That must be like the only header he scored for us, isn't it? I can't I can't remember him ever scoring a header. Yeah, really, really, really good goal. I thought it was Morata for a second because it was, it was so well placed. But yeah, such an important goal. Free all. Uh, just like I said, what, what a game really is. So up and down. It's never boring being a Chelsea fan, is it? Yeah, and then Dzeko missed, uh, what was it, a header right at the end of the game. The form he was in, the, the goals he scored already, like, you fully expect him to bury that. And if he scores that, like, we've lost, we've lost three games in a row. So Conte would have been under some serious pressure. I think we've got, like, 
what was it like six games in the next 16 days with injuries to Bakayoko, to Louise, to Kante, and not fully fit Morata. I think yeah, Moses is out as well. I don't know what Kante's going to do. I mean, I don't want to say it, but it could, the next like 16 days could be really define the rest of Conte's, not only his season, but his actual tenure at Chelsea, because would we all be surprised if Conte lost, I don't know, 50% of those games and he got sacked? No. So it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks for sure. Just so the injuries aren't too much. It's gutting as well, because like, Louise, Louise looked pretty decent and I'm just thinking, all right, well, if Conte's out, stick Louise in and, and see what he does. And, at least we've got that option. And then he picks up an injury. We're like, okay, well, at least we've got back here, okay. And then he picks up an injury. Yes, yeah, we're just turning it to Arsenal at the moment. But positives, so we're top of the group. Uh, Morata's back fit. Hazard scored a couple of goals. Hopefully his confidence is back. And obviously those two guys are the most important players for us. So, yeah, hopefully we can, we can go and, and smash Watford and just get back into some sort of groove. United are looking a bit wobbly. They should have been battered by Liverpool. And I didn't watch the United game, but from all the comments after, I understand that they actually won by a goalkeeper running behind his line and scoring his own goal. And other than that, they were quite poor. So they're looking... Well, they're looking like the wheels are coming off a little bit, to be honest. So it'd be really interesting to see how they get on. And obviously, we've got them in a few weeks as well, so... Jose Mourinho could be in real trouble. He's not going to win the title in the second season. But yeah, a few positives. Really disappointing to lose a 2-0 lead, but 3-2 down. The players fought back. Got a bit lucky, but top of the group. So, yeah, see what happens. Hopefully we can actually keep our players fit before Watford and be able to actually field a team.